guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm kiri eliana so today i have a very requested video that so many people ask me for both on tiktok on instagram on here so a lot of people know that i do my own nails so people ask for a tutorial naturally that's what you want to have or you want to ask for a tutorial when you know somebody knows how to do something so today i'm finally gonna make that tutorial for you guys yes i'm in my pajamas yes the hello kitty yes i have my hair done yes i have bangs yes i got a nose piercing hopefully that answered all of your new questions this video is probably gonna be pretty straightforward um i don't want to make it too long because i did record a video like a nail tutorial but it was like a voiceover and it came out to like be an hour and i don't want this video to be long because i mean it's pretty straightforward on how to do nails they're more in-depth tutorials i'm not really showing you guys how to design more so just how to like to do and prep it and all that good jazz and stuff and where you can find it let's go ahead and get into the video so first things first the first thing that you definitely need if you do want to do nails or whatever nails in the first place so you can look on amazon you can literally get these on amazon i say amazon because it's like the most reliable place but just look up gel tips or gel nails like gel x nails and you'll find like a bunch of different ones on there me i just use these they're like just regular gel tips these are square ones they come like coffin and other stuff like that they come long short but I think these are medium length square ones. Okay, so I'm basically gonna give you guys a run through of everything that you need. So you already know you need the nails, but we're gonna give you a run out of other stuff. Well, I am. You're also gonna need base coat, top coat, and like primer or dehydrator or whatever. So I use the Modelones or Modelones. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's their nail prep dehydrator. And then for base coat or nail glue, cause you're gonna want nail glue to put down your gel tips, but don't use like regular nail glue. You need gel nail glue. <gasps> I use the Marlone's UV 1 and 4 nail glue. This is like a base coat, um, nail glue. I don't know why it says 4 and 1 because there's only two things I can think of. Then last but not least, a top coat, I use the Marlone's top coat. So all of these are Marlone's or Marlone's, but however you pronounce this brand. Good brand. And then obviously you're going to need a UV light. You can get any of these from off of Amazon. You don't need a particular one. This is just a regular UV light to cure your nails. Now for a base coat, I have the Born Pretty Gel color, and I don't know what color this is in, to be honest, but it's like a natural nude color, as you can see. For my French test, I'm just using the regular Vito's polish, the white one. I also have the nail drill, and this is the Melody Susie Professional Nail Drill. This is the one that I use, and you can buy different tips, but like this is just a sandpaper tip, and they have cuticle tips and all that good jazz. Now to apply the gel tips, you're gonna want a mini lamp to apply the gel tips, or maybe a lamp that stretches over. Those are way better than these, but you're just gonna want a mini UV lamp so you can cure each nail individually, because obviously you cannot like be flexible with this one so you'll be able to like hold the nail down so this is just like a mini uv lamp i just have this duster it's not necessary you can literally go like but i don't know but this is just a duster you don't even have to get one that looks like this this is just really cute another major basic thing are nail filers now this is just a regular nail filer i think this is like 100 180 now this is another 100 180 nail filer and then this is just a nail buffer you're definitely gonna want these. These are definitely needed for the entire process. You're gonna use these more than you can count. Alcohol, you don't have to have it in this. Like sometimes they have those little dish containers like this right here, right here. And you can pour some alcohol in this and dip your brushes as you go. But I also just have this alcohol dispenser and then I just push down and alcohol comes out. So whatever is easier for you. Now, these are just a bunch of nail lining brushes. If you're doing designs or if you're doing French tips then you're gonna need these. If not, then you don't need them, but you can literally get nail brushes or nail designing brushes off of anywhere, off of any website. Like there is no specific brand. I literally got these off of Timu, not even joking, and they literally work so good. So it doesn't matter. These are like alcohol pads, so you can clean your nails or you can use them for acetone to dehydrate your nails. These are not necessarily needed, but they're good to have. Next thing are the nail clippers. Now these are needed if you have longer nails and you wanna clip them down. And the thing that I really suggest are metal um, magnets so you can measure how long you want your nail to be and all your nails be even. Cause I know when I did not have these, I would have to like put it like that and try to estimate and sometimes it would not be even. So 
that's not good. These are just like cleanup brushes for if anything gets messed up because you do not want to have excess stuff all over your cuticles or all over your fingers. And then of course, cuticle oil. Cuticle oil is a must have. Not only does it make your nails shiny and it smells good, but it's also really good for the cuticle and it's really moisturizing and just finishes off the entire thing. And then lastly, this is definitely not needed, but we have charms and then I have the McCart rhinestone glue. This is what I use to put my charms on. That's pretty much it. And then if you want to have other colors, then yeah. But whenever I use colors, I always use the brand The Beatles. I have this pink. This is a shade 50. I don't know if I'm going to use this pink. Also, I believe it's downstairs, but they have like these acrylic plates that you can put your nail polish on. Mine's is downstairs. I don't feel like getting it. So I'm literally just going to use the top of this container. My videos are never serious or formal, and I honestly don't care. That's so good. Oh, that's so good. So first things first is prep. Now there is one thing that I did not mention. You're gonna need a cuticle pusher. I thought it was in this bin. It's downstairs. I honestly don't feel like getting it. Okay guys, I went and got it, but I have a cuticle pusher. A cuticle pusher is definitely needed and I ended up getting the plate. So the first thing is definitely, the first thing is prep. If you don't prep your nails correctly, they can and they will come off. So we're going to use my nail drill and my cuticle pusher and the nail dehydrator and that is the first step to prepping your nails along with also filing so we have my nail buffer nail filer cuticle pusher and drill this is everything that you need along with the nail dehydrator so first things first you're gonna start with your cuticle pusher and you're literally gonna push all your cuticles back then after i go in with my drill if it turn on and I literally just drill down my nails. You do not want to have it at a high speed or anything like that. If you don't have a drill, that's completely fine. You can literally use a nail filer or a buffer. It does not make a difference. A drill is just a little bit faster and easier. Then I just go with my buffer and buff it like normal. But then sometimes I do go in with my nail filer, but that's only if the buffer and the drill does not do the job because sometimes that happens. And then last but not least, you're going to go in with your nail dehydrator and you're ready to start applying your nails. So let's prep our nails first and then we'll come back. Okay, so I'm done drilling my nails. All that good jazz. I am going to go in with the dehydrator now. You don't need a lot of dehydrator. This is just used to take the oils and everything out your nails. So when you go to put the actual nails on or whatever, your nails are not like oily. So it sticks good, which is why prep is very important. Because if you want your nails to last long, you want them to stay, you want them to adhere good, you're going to need good prep now the entire nail applying process begins so you can use your mini lamp but honestly i hate using the mini lamps i i like to use a lamp that stretches over but i don't have that so what i do is i literally use this lamp and i just take this part off to make it easier but you're gonna start applying your nail tips now what i do is i apply my base coat on all of my fingers and then i cure it up under the lamp my entire hand for 60 seconds and then i take it out and then what I do is I take a nail and I put glue in the nail. I put the nail on and then I just hold down and put it up under the lamp for 60 seconds. And I do that to the rest of the nails. So I'm going to go ahead and put the nails on. Pretty simple process. Put the base or glue on your nails first. Cure for 60 seconds. Take your hand out. Put the base coat on the nail. Put the nail on. Hold up on our lamp for 60 seconds take the nail out and repeat on all your nails so i'm going to repeat that process on all of my nails and then i'm going to get back to you guys actually i lied i'm going to show you guys that part so i just cured my nails up under the lamp for 60 seconds with the regular glue not regular glue with the glue so it is sticky so be careful because the base glue is really sticky so whatever it touches it's going to pick up whatever it touches so like hair and dust and stuff so now after my nails are girl can you just speak please now after my nails have the base coat on now you're gonna go in with your gel x nail or your gel tip and you want to put enough glue on so it spreads throughout your entire nail because it is kind of a process but you're gonna take your nail and what i do is i just put some glue in that's not how i do it and put some glue in and i kind of just and i just put glue on like that then what i do is i take hold up 
wait a minute, take the tip, I put it as close to the cuticle as I can because that makes sure it's seamless. And you push down. You want to make sure there's no bubbles in the nails because if there is bubbles, then there's more chance of it pulling up. That doesn't always mean so. But then after the entire nail is covered with the glue and you see no bubbles, you can literally put that up under the lamp and cure for 60 seconds. And that's how it's done. That's literally it. And then you just repeat that entire process with all of your nails. Okay, so I finished one hand. One hand has all the nails on it. Now I can use the magnets and I can clip down the nails to the length that I want. I'm gonna use two magnets. We're gonna see how that works. But I'm gonna clip the nails after I'm done with this hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the nails to this hand as well. And then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna clip them and we're gonna buff them and we're gonna start the designs, if that makes sense. Okay, so now both my hands have the nails on them. That's how they're looking. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down. Cunt, and I'm good. Hmm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down. I just used this and these are the two magnets. And then it makes the nails like really easy. And like I said, it makes your nails like even so you don't have to worry about one nail being longer than the other and all your nails are even according to each other. I kind of want them long. I don't know, I've been trying to get into longer nails. So that's how they look before and after. It's just like barely like a centimeter off. That's what it feels like. So after I cut all my nails down, I go ahead and I buff them. And then I go in with the base coat, which is like the four in one glue. And then I go in with the base color. You want to buff your nails before you put on base coat, just because it makes the polishes and everything adhere, adhere better something like that now that all my nails are done i literally just go over the nail and i just use my buffer and i buff it out you do not need to put dehydrator on this because it's not a natural nail so it doesn't have any natural oils or anything so this is just to take away the shine so that's before and after you buff them so you just do that to both hands and that's how they're looking very sharp very crisp i'm loving it ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So now after that, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the four in one base coat just on one hand at a time. That's what I do. I design one hand at a time. So I'm just focusing on one hand. So whatever I tell you about this hand is also getting done on this hand. And I'm just going to make sure that it's even. You wanna make sure you're not flooding your cuticle. And when I mean flooding your cuticle, you don't want a bunch of gel right here. So you kind of wanna go with just a little, little, little bit above your cuticle it gives you that seamless look and it kind of makes it look like it's acrylic because i know a lot of people strive for that look when they're doing gel lex but you just you just kind of want to go like that inch and drag you don't have to like flood it or anything like that so i'm just going to do that on all my nails put the glue or base coat on all my nails and then i'm going to uh, then i'm going to cure for 60 seconds and I'm going to put on my base color. Now the coat is done. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my gel color. I did two coats of this. My mom's like, oh, one works. One doesn't work. Sometimes you have to do three depending on the color, but this is like a light brown nude type color. I don't know how to explain it. And I literally do the exact same method because if this floods your cuticle, it's done for, and you wanna make sure that this is applied evenly and that it's applied right. Kind of like how I applied the base coat with the inch, 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 and then drag down. So that's how it looks like with one coat. As you can see, it's gonna need two coats, but I'm also gonna do French tip, so whatever. Okay, so I just did one coat. It's not cured yet, I'm curing it now. And then after two coats, and then we start the designing process. And then after I design them, I go ahead and pop that top coat on and literally repeat with the other hand. Doing the nails is a really simple process. I feel like people look at it like an intimidation, but the minute you start, it's really easy. A lot of people also ask how I got or how I learned to start doing my nails. My mom actually used to do my nails, but she used to use poly gel. And I was like, hey, can I do my nails? So one day I started doing poly gel and it was good until I learned about gel -X, and gel -X was just a lot more neater, a lot more simpler and just looked a lot better and I could do a lot, lot more. And then poly gel was like very messy, very sticky. It wasn't my thing. Poly gel is like an alternative or a safer way for acrylic. Like if we're putting like least safe for your nail to safest, it would probably be acrylic poly gel, gel X. Gel X is kind of like press ons, but they're not press ons because it's like gel glued to your nail. So it is still good, but that's how the first coat looks. We're gonna put a second coat on and that's it. Okay, I'm watching The Vampire Diaries right now and I feel like, is Wolfbane's real? Cause like even before I even started watching The Vampire Diaries, like I would hear about Wolfsbane. Is it real? Is it harmful to wolves? Does it hurt humans? Is it poisonous? Is it good? Like. 
because even when i was watching vampire diaries they were saying that like it can mean a bunch of different things but normally it's like toxic i think it is i think it is real because I've, I've heard it before like i know i'm not tripping i've heard wolf spain before second coat is done that is how it looks so cute see anywho you see how like the shape is like less sharp the more you add polish the like thicker bulkier it gets which is why you want to not apply thin coats but like apply it evenly and apply it lightly in a way because you want your nail to still maintain that shape so when you go to shape it up you're not doing a bunch of work or whatever whatever so now it's time for the design part i have my acrylic plate right here that is used for the nail polish i'm going to go in with my beetles nail polish the white one i'm in a desperate need of more white polish because what is this Th this is all that's left in the container but now we're gonna do the friends tips so i'm gonna go ahead and look at my brushes and figure out which one i want to use what i do is i get my alcohol open that up then i dip my brush make sure that all my bristles are together twist 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 and i go ahead and i start my french tip now so I go ahead and i get my brush and i dip it in the polish wherever i want the point or ending to be i don't really know how to explain it honestly I learned by watching tutorials, so if you guys really want to learn, you should watch tutorials because I'm not I'm not really good at explaining. So that is how the French tip looks. It's really crisp, really clean. I like it. The only thing that I hate about doing this is that I do one French tip, I cure it. I do one French tip and I cure it because the French tip design slides around for me, like gel polish slides around. And since I'm doing it on myself, it's not like I can keep the hand in a position. So I'm just gonna take the big nail and fill it in and then I go ahead and put that in a lamp and cure it so my design does not fret or move and I cure that for 30 seconds though not 60 because that will take forever after that's cured I literally do the same thing on everything so I design cure nail design cure nail design cure nail and then I go in with a second coat on everything and then I cure the entire hand it's so funny when I'm like oh my goodness I'm done and then I look and the other hand is not done that's the worst feeling ever okay so this hand is done with the french tip now the last thing i need to do is top coat and then i need to shape them up honestly this is probably like the neatest french tip job i've ever done before but yeah you want to put your top coat on and then you want to shape them up you don't want to shape them up while like everything is still tacky the top coat gives it like a clean layer and like i said you want to put the top coat on just like how you do your base color and your base coat because you don't want it to overflow and then you don't want it to get too thick. Now that the top coat is applied, we're going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds, not 30, 60 seconds. And then we're going to shape them up and your nails are good and done. Okay, now the top coat is on a nail, so glossy, so pretty. Now you can go ahead and do this. Now I always do this literally just to make sure that there is no sticky nowhere because when you go to file, dust has come off and you don't want the dust to into your nail and then it changes the texture of your nail. Go ahead and get this. That's why I said like, it's good to have. And then I just wipe down my nails with alcohol. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this nail filer and my 180 nail filer and I just shape my nails. But I'm gonna go ahead and file my nails, come back, show you guys the final result of this hand and then I'm not gonna record this hand or anything like that. I'll probably do a little cool transition, something like that. But I do the exact same thing that I did on this hand, on this hand. Okay, so I'm done shaping my nails. I'm just gonna go over with alcohol again, just to make sure everything's clean up and there's no dust or nothing on them. And so this is the final look of them. And they look so cute, so clean, so nice. Click clack. And then we have this hand. So before and after. Now time for a cool transition. <laughs> Boom. Hopefully that transition ate down, because if it didn't, that's really going to be embarrassing. Both my hands are done, and they look so good. They look so good. I like them. That brings me back to when I recorded my first YouTube video. Well, not really my first, but like one that I actually posted. Got my nails done also. This brings us to the last final steps on either if I'm going to apply charms or if I'm not and we're just going to apply the cuticle oil. I'd probably do this charm right here and just one on my ring finger. It's just like a bow jelly charm. Hold on, let me let it focus. But yeah, I'd probably do this charm right here because it's cute. Let me see how it would look. So I'm just going to go in with the McCart rhinestone glue. Go ahead 
and pop that on both my ring fingers. I make sure it's good enough because I don't know. Hold on. Let me move it around and see. Right. I'm going to pop that in for 30 seconds. I think it says on the back to cure for 30 to 60 seconds. Oh, no, it doesn't. After this is done curing, I'm going to apply the charm on my ring finger and then I'm going to go wash my hands, apply cuticle oil, and then after that, you're technically done doing your nails once you finish all that good jazz. Glue. I literally apply like a dot. Not like a dot, like a little dot, but like a dot, like a dot. So it's enough. Normally you're supposed to put top coat over the charms, but I don't feel like doing that because I shaped up my nails. So now both the hands have a charm on them. I'm going to go wash my hands and then I'm going to come back and we're going to apply the cuticle oil and I'm going to exit out this video. All right, I'm back. Hands are washed. Let me unplug this really quickly. Um, I was going to say this is the final look, but then I was like, oh, girl, you still got to put on cuticle oil. So we're going to use my cuticle oil. This is the CoQ cuticle oil. I believe this is in the scent Milk and Honey. When I tell you guys, it smells so good. I literally love it. Milk and honey one. This is how it looks if you want to get it. You can literally buy it off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure if you go on Amazon and you look up cuticle oil, this is like the first thing or second thing that pops up. You want to make sure that your hands are dry when you're putting the cuticle oil on because if they're wet, like, you know, oil and water don't mix well. So it's not really going to do anything for you. Okay, let me do the other hand now. Start with the fingers. Dot. Make sure I, I literally make sure I get in there. Like, it makes the nails look good and shiny. Make sure cuticle's healthy. It smells good. I love cuticle oil so much. Like, if cuticle oil could be like a moisturizer for your hands, like I would definitely use it. I mean, it can be, but like no one's gonna be like, hey, want some cuticle oil? Here, hold out your hand. Let me give you a couple squirts. This is the final design, you guys. It looks so cute. Mm -hmm. Wow. probably like the second best i've ever done for like french tips normally i kind of rush and i get lazy but i honestly think that's because i always do the french tips during the night like i'm always doing my nails later in the day so i get like lazy so i feel like whenever i should start doing my nails i should start doing them earlier in the day because i've noticed like the earlier i do them the more energy i have the more patience i have the more time i have ahead of me so it's not like i'm rushing so i'm probably going to start doing my nails earlier than more than later but i also just do my nails when i get the sudden urge of motivation i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial i know that has been highly requested and i hope that you guys can go ahead look on amazon and buy all the stuff that you need and get to start doing your nails because i know that no one wants to pay like 50 to 100 dollars to get some french tips done and you can literally do them at home really worth it just to know how to do something and worth paying your money on it like my uncle always taught me you pay for what you don't know so if you know how to do it you don't have to pay for it. So yeah, I know how to do my nails, so I don't have to pay to get my nails done. Make sure that you start doing your own nails. And if this really inspired you, then I hope it did, because a lot of people are asking. So yeah, I feel like the best design or a tip before we end this off is to start doing French tips. Like if you want to start a design, I would say start French tips. It's the most basic design. It's really cute, and a, to be honest, like French tips can go in a lot of different designs. You can put stuff on french tips you can do certain types of french tips but french tips are very versatile design and i feel like if you do them then once you learn that then you can pick up on other designs because that was the first design that i ever started with anyway thanks guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video remember that you are loved i love you Mwah. god bless bye guys